and come because one friend told me that they serve free food here for all the people. What Soul Food does is that it invites you to come in and no matter what your background is, no matter where you come from, you're welcome. All they want you to do is show up and all they want you to do is just be a part of it. It's almost like a family process. I had been a single mom with three children and knew a need to have a meal, serve a meal, but we wanted to do more than just give you a sack and put you out. We wanted to build friendships and fellowships and gather around the table and have a meal, which we started in March 2007. But when me came here, me was thinking and trying to find a job. But me think maybe here is a good place because come all kind of people. I don't really find that, but I find really good friends. And I, I think they changed my life forever. It really touches me when I see that they're in our church now, part of our church family. They're helping out in our soul food garden. They're helping at all the events we have. They come, they participate. Soul food has been really important to me, not only just physically, but spiritually. It gave me that space to heal and to feel like I was here just because I needed to be here and because the people around me wanted me to be here and I felt the presence of God again. The desire of the people to serve, you know, as Jesus asked us, to serve the least amongst us. And the people of this church were so willing to do that and with such open hearts. You know, when I needed somebody to cry to, they would cry with me. And that was so beautiful that it really helped me to open back up to God. We have children and families and even people who've become a part of our church staff who first came through our doors as a part of our soul food ministry. And there are some folks who come because they desperately need the meal, the actual food that we serve. And there are others who come for the meal and the fellowship around the tables. And there are others who may not need the, the meal in a financial or physical way, but who come because there's something about the aura and the context and the fellowship and love that exists in our fellowship hall on Tuesday nights. We laugh, maybe we cry too. Um, I don't know, it's amazing. Soul Food, which started as a feeding ministry, has become a much bigger thing than we ever dreamed or imagined. Several years ago, we started a garden, and the garden has been a great, great thing for our congregation and also for soul food to actually produce fruit and vegetables for us to serve at soul food meals. We also have a medical ministry that has formed as a part of soul food. We have a doctor and his wife who come most every Tuesday and they take blood pressures and blood sugars. And now that we've started the Soul Food Children's Choir and today we're offering the Soul Food Kids tutoring program, I mean many things have come out of just sharing a meal together.